Hello friends, it's Carla back today and we are looking at a new tonic release. Uh, it's a new stamp set with dyes and it's called Good Times Ahead. You look at the stamp set here. So we've got some really pretty wreaths. There's a round wreath and a heart wreath. Um, we've got rainbows. So there's this really cute rainbow with the hearts around the outside. And then we've got the rainbow coming out of the sunshine and a little cloud there. Uh, we've got the full sun and this little face can go on any of the suns or whatever you would like to put that cute little face on. We've also got this half sun here lots of really fun sentiments you're doing great you're amazing sending good vibes die set so we've got the full sun uh, we've got this little circle circles are great for anything so you can even use this to make like a little shaker hole in your project we've got the main all the main um, dies We've even got some of these little, this little word bubble that you can put some of those sentiments in. We've got a little banner die, and of course you can use those with any of your stamp sets. And let's see here, we've got this little one that's like a label. So here's this little label, and this would be great for anything. But of course, those larger sentiments will also fit inside there. And then with the wreaths, you can either cut them out around the whole wreath and leave them like that, or you can cut out the center as well. So with those center parts cut out, you can see how fine and detailed those are, or you could leave it in and have um, the inside not cut out. This would also make a really cute shaker, I think. There's the heart one. And here is the round one. And I really love the detail that they've added with those dies. I stamped these on watercolor paper. This is the Craft Perfect watercolor card. It's a really nice, thick watercolor card stock. I colored these with the Nouveau watercolor pencils. These pencils watercolor beautifully. They're so nice and smooth. And we've got lots of different colors here. There's five different color packages. So you could either just stick with one color if there's one set that you really like. Um, I decided they that I really, really liked the way that they worked. And so I decided that I would um, put them all in my collection. So I'm going to give you a look at how these beautiful watercolor pencils work. I'm using the Craft Perfect watercolor cardstock. So I have the elementary mid-tones. So I usually just have a piece of paper towel or a tissue that I can just dab my water brush on. This is just a regular water brush. And we can start off by coloring directly on the paper. So I've stamped and you don't have to be exact. It's the paper is a little bit textured, which gives it a nice, nice effect. Now that the base of our wreath, the flowers are done, then we can go back in and start adding some shadows. So you just want to pick a color that's a little bit darker than one of the colors you use. This color here, this is from the hair and skin tones. Uh, this would work well and I just want to pick up some of the color. So this is the way I like doing it. I just rub my brush over the tip and then that's when I'm going to come in and just go around the edge. With the 
centers and the little dots. We don't really need to add anything because we're going to use our Nouveau Drops. And I'm just pulling out some colors that I feel like would match. We've got the carnation pink here. So here's a look at our beautiful watercolor. And the last thing that I wanted to show you is the shimmer powders. So here I have Lilac Waterfall, Green Parade, Cherry Bomb, Sunray Crescent, and Fantail Firecracker. So I picked kind of the rainbow-ish colors that I had in my collection. Uh, you can do this a couple different ways. You can sprinkle them on and then give them a spray. So we'll do that first. So here's a look. These are the two different ways that I watercolored. This one here is sprinkled on and you can see those pretty colors um, within the shimmer sprays. And this one here, I used my paintbrush and added them like a watercolor. So they're both pretty, but you do get two different effects. This one here, we're going to give a little spray on the background. We've got a little water. And then we can just go in and start tapping. So I'm just going to get lightly giving it a spritz to activate that color. We could set that aside to dry. We could add more water and you can see what a beautiful effect that is. If I add more water, then that's going to kind of pool out and mix colors or if I add less you're going to get that almost explosion of color. Then you can take your heat gun and you can dry that. Here's a look at our piece. We could go ahead and add more if we wanted a little more color in there. Um, we can also you can see if you add a little bit we'll add this purple some of the colors are a little lighter so the purple I find is a little bit lighter and the pink is a really strong pigmented color if I felt like I wanted a little bit more I just add that on top you can also use your paintbrush and swirl that around and then you can go ahead and die cut your background and add you can stamp directly on it you can add whatever you like if you wanted more of a watercolor background, that's when you can tap off to the side. So if we wanted to add our powder, I'm still not squeezing it because we don't need a ton. spray my background just to give myself a little bit of wetness to work with. Then we have this really soft watercolor background. You can see how different that is, but they're still both very beautiful. You don't have to waste anything that's left over. You can just dab it up with a tag or with some extra watercolor paper. 
Hopefully this has given you some ideas for using the beautiful Good Times Ahead stamp and die set.